Yo, welcome back to Basic Strats with Subs World Episode 2. What do you guys think? Pretty good, huh? <laughs> well, today uh, we're going to be coming or covering uh, Arathi Basin, right? Um, and they're super basic, right? Uh, sometimes I use these strats myself. Um, it's just things to watch out for when you're playing Arathi Basin and things to take advantage of. Let's get right into it. So, I'm just going to be saying that we're Horde, right? Because that's what the fuck I am. So, we're going to be talking about Horde. Um, most of the time, when I play Arathi Basin and you want to do like basic strats, when I Q low MMR, why do people give mines for free? Like, why, dude? You know how many times I've planned, like, sending two people to mines only to find out they didn't even send anybody when I get there? If you are a low MMR leader and you are giving away a free base, you're fucking up, dude. Because... The last few Wrathy Basins I've played on my Demon Hunter, who's only like 1500 CR, I've had nobody there to even try and contest versus me, man. That shit is free. So if you are a low MMR leader, quit giving away mines, man. Holy shit. Alright, you guys are cracked. <laughs> so, usually, right, I have one of my base sitters sit farm. Whether that's a warlock, uh, a hunter with a pet, a druid, um, maybe even a ret. One of those type of classes, I will have sit farm. Okay. The type of classes that I send to mines is always my rogue and a another class with high mobility. Right. Um, so like a windwalker. A demon hunter, um, even a druid, right? Something that's a very good two versus two comp. Because a lot of times, and they're higher MMR, they're gonna send two people as well, right? Um, and sometimes even a healer, which you also have to be prepared for. <clears throat> if you see that they end up sending a healer down to mines, right? And you have like one healer going BS and two healers going LM. It's good to rotate your healers down. So the BS healer will go to mines. The one of the LM healers will go to BS. Before they even like get to the entry points. Right? It's just good to start having them rotate down. Um, so if you're a rogue and you're running towards mines. Make sure you're spamming BGE to figure out what you're going to be facing. If you're going to be facing anybody, right? Um, typical classes that I send to BS, right, would be usually my melee and a very good offensive um, healer, right? Such as like Paladin. You know, they have wings, they have Hodge, you can rep. Um, like maybe some people sent to mid that could possibly just CC cap in mid. Or if they need to, 2 versus 3, 2 versus 4 with the amount of utility that they have, right? And the rest of my team, I just send them up to LM, right? So let's say that my team doesn't get LM and they don't spin it at all, right? They run up there, they're tunneling, and they're hitting like a healer, and the base is capped, and everybody is still alive, right? At that point, man... I would tell my team to back off and go BS because they've lost the base. There's no real reason to be there when we can be backing up BS if it's still not uh, gotten by Alliance or Horde, right? If we had won BS like right away, then I would have my BS team ro rotate up to LM, win the team fight maybe, and then get that base, right? But just a good rule of thumb, man, is if you end up having three bases, let's say LM, Mines, and Farm, 
you need to have somebody floating in between the two bases here between mine and farm and somebody float floating in between here so you'd want two people sitting here one person sitting here two people sitting here and two people floating here or here you know like wherever the extra and two people sitting the base everybody's spamming their bge right and ready for whatever decision they end up making for when it comes to be offensive let's say the entire team the entire team decides to fight lm right so your floater the one person floating the one of the people defending and the other two floating let's say that they push into lm right so you have one person sitting farm one person sitting mines and eight people here at lm because they decided a team fight you as a team should probably have somebody sitting out because mines is so far away right when it comes to like hey somebody's at my base that person has to spin that base for a really long time and this is not a good scenario right here when you have lm farm and mines it is not a good scenario right you want to have the three bases as close as you can because and in, let's say instead of having mines you had bs and somebody was like hey somebody's at my base you can jump off levitate safe fall demon hunter leap whatever over to bs right so it's always just a good rule of thumb to have the three closest bases if you have a separate base that's kind of far away kind of like this then you should look at making a play to get another base and maybe even give up mines right if you can do it without giving up that's perfect right having four bases is perfect but it is better to have the three extremely close um especially if it's lm because you can just jump off you can do mines bs and farm right but it you, you can still get there but it's just better to be at, at the very highest advantage that you can have i believe i believe personally um if you only have two bases then you need to be sending your rogue right let's say they have mines stables and lm right maybe your team maybe you force the enemy team to fight and then you send your rogue druid over to mines right because it, it will take them forever to respond um type of thing but and this is the same concept for deep wind gorge right especially having people float in between the bases when you have them in deep wind because it's such a large map right and having people float um when it's not necessary in team fight right so like earlier i was saying everybody would rotate to lm with eight well let's say they're like double sitting bs for whatever reason and you don't need eight people or a healer communicates hey i'm not really healing let me dip out something along those lines and hold it out towards mines and farm just prepared for a base hit and whatnot um, so just keep an eye on what how the team fights playing out maybe they're missing a few because if they are missing a few you definitely want to have somebody just close by just in case um but yeah in the end man just quit giving away mines oh my gosh you guys cracked me up but i hope this quick guide quick very basic guide on a rathy basin helps you guys out um you can definitely apply it to deep wind right you have two people sit the other base everybody go mid once you get the three maybe float in between if you don't get the third one in the middle but you get one um across the map well be prepared to get running dude because those are really far apart but thank you guys so much for watching and i hope this helps and you guys have a wonderful Good afternoon. Peace.